Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Um, welcome back to the podcast. I this this episode of the podcast of Jason's very average podcast goes out to Felicia, um, my friend out of New Jersey. Uh, she uh, commented uh, today actually and said for me to keep doing these. So, yay! Here I am doing them. Um, and yeah, my thoughts are with you. And uh, New Jersey is one of the hardest hit in the states at the moment. Probably one of the hardest hit in the world at the moment. Um, Three hundred people dying a day, three hundred plus. Um, so it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. After my last podcast, uh, last entry. I got at least three people um, asking if I was okay. Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. no, I am, I am okay. Uh, Less subdued today. I mean, more subdued today, uh, because I, what was I doing? Uh, Yeah, I didn't have uh, coffee. There you go. There, no, no, no coffee. Anyway, let's jazz it up. All right, let's go, let's go. What do we have on the agenda? Today, let's uh, bring out the notepad. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So I've been writing, um, been writing quite far, like a lot uh, recently. Uh, in, the last, in this week, I, well, yesterday and on Sunday, um, I wrote about 40 Ks. Yeah, it's like, like marathon styles, only riding a bike. Um, and uh, let me tell you, my legs are getting pretty massive. Like you can start to see uh, each individual quad, you know what I'm talking about? Um, and it's pretty sick. I'm like, fucking look at my legs going, yeah. Uh, but what you do see and wh- what I've noticed um, from riding is that you see the the old the old OGs, uh, OG cyclists. Uh, yes, with the Lycra, some without. Um, but their legs are fucking massive, man. Really big. And their calves, you can see like the muscle, just each individual like, you know what I mean? Um, mm, so uh, one day I'll be like that, yes. Um, mm, so yeah, no, uh, so the two routes that I took were um, rode out from Mont Albert from my place down to about Camberwell, took the anniversary trail down to East Malvern, took the freeway trail to Glomaverly, and then Glomaverly back up to Blackburn and back to my place. Um, which was, uh, yeah, quite, quite the distance. Um, I was with a friend and, um, uh, do you have one of these friends? It's quite funny because I was like, you know, you're okay. You're, you're cool. Blah, blah, blah. And, um, she was like, uh, yep, yep, yep. Fine. Yep. Uh, you know, do you have one of those friends where they just don't complain? They're just like kind of, it's very Aussie as well. Like, like Aussie, like from the country Aussie, you know, it's like, yep. Yep. Oh, yep. We'll get done. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. So, you know, and clearly, clearly, you know that they're not, uh, they're a little bit tired. They're a bit tired, but I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go a little bit further, a little bit further. Um, I get that trait from my mum. Uh, thanks, mum. Um, yeah, she, uh, my mum visiting museums. Yeah. I'm not sure when, when I was a kid, um, my mum would always go to museums or, or would go to another city, another town in Australia. And we just like walk a lot. And I just, just keep walking. If you know my mum, she's actually quite small. Uh, it's about five foot. And it, it, like I can't keep up with her now. Like it, she's just like a little energizer butt bunny. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, so that was one route. Uh, that was all right, uh, getting, uh, I grew up in Glenavely, so I went back to my old uh, haunting place and uh, you know, memories. Mm. Um, and then the next route that I took was yesterday. It was really awesome, and I got back after mid- uh, after nightfall, after sunset, um, which yeah was a really long time. Uh, I rode, went to Burke Street, rode up the Yarra River uh, Trail, and it was like. Really good, really, really cool to see, um, yeah, to see like 
countryside and stuff. It's weird because you're in the suburbs, but it feels like there's countryside because um, there's like farms and stuff. Um, and what was also awesome was that uh, I got to see some kangaroos. So a bit of a treat there. Um, I very rarely see kangaroos in Melbourne, in the you know Melbourne region. Um, so unless you're out on the outer suburbs. So um, yeah, it's really, really cool that I got to see some, uh, some kangaroos. Um, the mosquitoes though suck. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, what's next? Ah, yes, I found yeast. Um, so it's bacon time, bacon bread time. Um, any, you got any bread recipes, um, hit me up um, because I got the yeast, I got the flour. Is there anything else you need? I don't know, who knows? Um, so yeah, definitely want to bake some bread. See what, see what that's about, or maybe even a dough. Mm, a little dough, a little uh, pizza dough, see what I'm saying? Uh, yep, yeah. and uh, finally, dating. Um, yeah, dating in these times. In these times, pretty crazy. What's also pretty crazy is, uh, you know, I'm 31. I'm 31 and uh, I'm starting to match with people, maybe, and especially if they're older than me, uh, that's, that have their own place, like that they own an apartment, which is crazy, uh, and a house, or they've been married and they're divorced, which is wild. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, obviously, I mean, this has been happening for a while now, but it's quite evident um, now so much because like here I am traveling around the world doing fun stuff um, and and they're just like working and having a life and being mature, which is, yeah, man, that's uh, someone else. Something else. It's cool. It's cool. I d definitely do feel though sometimes, um, you know, obviously not now because you're not really meeting up with anyone, but um, sometimes I'm not sure if you feel this, like, you know, comment down below if you feel this. Sometimes you, you look at that and you're like, ah, oh, they've got a place and a good job. And you're thinking, you know what would be really fucking awesome? If we were to get married and I be the housewife, hmm, hmm, because they are obviously self-sufficient and I have no money. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes, uh, sometimes I feel like that and other times I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 uh, that would be me being um, somewhat of a, um, how do you say, a prostitute. Yes. Uh, wait, let me, let me do that again. <laughs> Uh, no, anyway, continuing. It's eight minutes in. Uh, that's all I have today. I would have done this earlier, but uh, I got caught up doing some other things. Um, yes, next video probably be uh, me playing trombone. I haven't started yet, so we're going to learn a song. We're going to learn a song by the weekend. So yes, let's do that. Anyway, this goes out to you, Felicia. I hope you're well. Um, stay safe. And everyone in the States, all my mates in the States that are watching this, hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. Um, and um, my uncle and family over in Texas, I know what you guys are doing. So uh, please keep doing what you're doing, but safely. Uh, cool. All right. See you later. Bye.